Hello, dear ones. It's been a while since we've gathered together, and since the last time I saw you, I've moved locations. I have a new room in my house um, that's set apart for me as a study and a place to seek God, and the blank walls behind me are different than the backdrop I used to have. Not sure if we're going to replace the backdrop or not. But this is the first fruit of my husband and I becoming empty nesters that I'm able to move into one of the bedrooms that our daughters had before they moved out. So welcome to my new space. I'm really happy with it and I'm really happy to gather with you again. As I record this right at this moment, my husband Steve is driving to the airport to pick up our daughter and her husband and our granddaughter. And you can imagine the anticipation that I have in my heart right now about seeing them. They're going to be with us through Christmas, and I'm so happy to share the holidays with them. I've been doing all this preparation the past few days, cleaning and finding the kids' toys and trying to baby-proof different things, digging out the high chair, and um, just getting my heart and my home ready to welcome my family. And that reminds me of Advent because Advent is the season of preparation. We are preparing to remember the birth of Jesus, preparing for the holiday of Christmas that sometimes gets over, overshadows the true meaning of what Christmas is about. But this whole season is a season of preparation, a season of remembering the God who came to live among us. But we talk in this season about hope and hope is about future it's about us anticipating the future with um, a good feeling about what is going to happen. And so it's interesting because Christmas is really a looking back and remembering what God has done. But that's just the beginning of the story of Jesus in our lives. Hope is about the completion of that. We know from scripture that he who began a good work in you will be faithful to see it to fullness, to completion. And that is the same with the salvation story. As much as we celebrate this beautiful little baby, Jesus, God, who became flesh and came as a child, as an infant, we also need to remember the end of the story. What was that all for? What was that all about? We look to the cross of Christ and we talk about our hope being in his sacrifice and his resurrection. And even beyond the cross, beyond all of what was accomplished, we are going to live through the cross to the fullness of completion. When Jesus comes again, that is the hope that we have. That all of this that we're experiencing right now, all the struggle, all the trial, all the division, all the loneliness, all the hatred, all the anger, all of that will be washed away because of the accomplishment of Christ, because of that baby fulfilling his full destiny for all of creation, for all of time. That is the hope that is within us. And that is the hope that we want to carry through the Christmas season. Let us not just stop at the manger. And let us not even just stop at the cross. But let us with Holy Spirit journey through all of time, through fullness of history, to the final jubilee, the final triumphant entry of our Lord returning. And all of this being culminated in our God who loves us so much. I want to finish with Romans 15 verse 13, one of my favorite verses in scripture. It says, may the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him so that you may overflow with hope. We want to be people who overflow with hope into this dark world in these days. If we are seen to be people of hope, people that know that there is a good, triumphant, victorious end to this story, we are going to bring hope to those around us and shine light in the darkness. And so I encourage you this Advent season, have fun celebrating, have fun preparing, but don't take your eyes off the prize. Don't take your eyes off the goal that Jesus will come again and this will all be accomplished in its fullness and we will celebrate like you have never celebrated before. So I bless you, my dear ones. Lord Jesus, I pray that you will fill my loved ones today with your hope, with your joy, with your peace, with every gift of the Advent season and that you will carry them through this season knowing that you have it all in hand and you are accomplishing much through us and in us and for us. For your glory, Lord. Amen. God bless you all.